What's going on guys? It's Alex over here in Torque Motorsport and it is 7-ish a.m. I'm lying, it's actually like 8.30. You thought it got you. We are going to pick up our brand new drift car which is three and a half hours away in Illinois and I'm really excited to show you guys what it is because we're gonna be starting like back at the basics because we want to show you what it's like to actually get started into the whole drifting community. So whether you're jumping into something new or something used, uh, this entire series is going to be dedicated to learning and building a car that's pretty much intended just to drift uh, with all of you. So follow along, drop in the comments what you think the car is right now, and please, if there's anything else I could ask for, watch the whole video. Gels, thank you for driving me on a Monday morning. You bet, man. Yeah, it was really great to do this. <laughs> My favorite thing in the world is road trips. <laughs> Always no, get no, gap no, 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 yes. no, 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 <laughs> you never get gap insurance at the dealer. Get oh. financed at a credit union. Yes. It's so much cheaper. Yes, that. Come on, bro. Sorry. You have I, rules. You tricked me. There were jobs you had. Oh, my God. Tricked and we're, we're also going to be learning a little bit about how many of the like little extras that are on the car if, if they're in the used car. Because the car has a few miles on it. So we're going to see, like, does it have the floor mats? That's actually 200 How bucks. good of a deal did we get? Yeah, how much of an actual deal did we get in the current state of affairs of 2023 vehicle market values? I want to say we were still dicked a little bit, <laughs> but the car is cool. Yeah. So it's not a Volkswagen. I mean, so there's that. Can't drift a Volkswagen GTI. I mean, you can. I mean, you're taking me to a Honda dealership, so I don't know about that either. A little Honda Civic Type R action. <laughs> We'll put some under, put some little lunch table trays underneath the back rear tires. Call her a day. Yeah, that's what I used to do back in high school. Practically the same thing. <laughs> this weather sucks. Where the hell do I park? Obviously not up front because nobody else did. It makes me uncomfortable. No, I'm parking up front. I don't need to <laughs> I got the first spot, baby. Maybe it's a sign that <laughs> it wasn't a good time to buy a car when nobody's parked up front. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no shit. Wow, look at that. I've never actually even bought a new car before. This is, <laughs> this is a whole new experience. I didn't even think that'd be it. <laughs> It's so weird having a colorful car. It's like somebody turned the saturation up to plus 80 in here. It does look really nice. Like, I just learned from Gels that Toyota waited a year after Subaru released their junky ass, bunk ass version of this car so that they could make it look better. And this looks way better. I would argue this looks better than a Nissan Z, personally. It's a lot slower, but we'll fix that. All right, now we gotta get it home. The most under, like the most interesting thing though is like, are, are we getting in a Rav4, a GR86, a Highlander? We don't know. Wow. Whoever owned this before me did not pay for the upgraded key, and I'm disappointed. How's the trunk? Look at all that space. Can't fit four wheels in that though. Ooh, all right, Jill. try. The song's playing. Life, Life is, is a, a highway, highway, my guy. <laughs> It's a wet highway, but it's a highway. Wow, this feels really good. Oh, look at that broken neck already. 228 horsepower, baby. What if I just drifted inside the parking lot? I think they'd be angry. <laughs> so this is a 2022 Toyota GR86 Premium, which gave us... What? I, I'm trying to remember what it... It gave us good seats. Oh, gave great us nice, seats. Yeah, I love gave the, us I good, love good seats. seats. It gave us a basic, simple interior that's been updated with some navigation and some 
touch screen, I would imagine. Let's go. Oh my god. A if digital it wasn't... dash. I don't know. I like it. I like it. My I like it. So one of my things that I loved about my FRS so much is that it wasn't too much. It was they kept the basics. And I think they did a good job with this too. Like I said, they brought it to the modern age a little bit, but kept it simple because this thing doesn't need to be over complicated. Exactly. Exactly. Especially when we're going to be sliding it sideways because that's exactly what we aim to do with this car. Yes. But we need to get it home. So I'm going to give you my first impressions after I drive it for three hours, <laughs> but not before blasting life as a highway on repeat. Three and a half hours. For three and a half hours. And we're going to go to Beef Shack <laughs> for lunch. I, I like to call it the beef hut. It doesn't feel healthy. No, the weather's really beautiful. My favorite thing in the whole wide world. Three hour drive home. In the rain. In a GR86. Ah. Any last words? Uh, good luck. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Alex, are you cold at all? Well, I would be if I wasn't wearing my Orbital Ivory Torque Motorsport sweater that I have that you can get over at shop.torquemotorsport.io. You know, I'm feeling even, like I could. It even come with beef hut on it. Come on. <laughs> begin to talk about how long it took to find this car, especially in the market today. To find one Neptune Blue Premium 6-speed, a GR86 was not the car I was initially anticipating to be sliding sideways with Torque Motorsport, but I am so freaking excited. And what I'm most excited for, besides the fact that I can do this, is the fact that we're gonna be drifting it all season long, but we need your help because we want this to be a community build. So you let us know what sort of wheels, tires, maybe angle kits, e-brakes, all that sort of stuff. We wanna get your involvement. What should we be running? Let us know in the comment section below. We're gonna be starting off with wheels and tires. I think a set of Titan 7s and some Kendas would be dope, or maybe even some Koenigs, but let me know below. Of course, thank you so much, Torque Motorsport. We finally have a drift car here in the States. I'm gonna slap it twice because it makes people uncomfortable. I hope you guys enjoyed this video so, so much. We're really excited for the 2023 season to start drifting this thing.